Hello everyone. This video we are going to learn about the swagger. How swagger works, what is swagger, and what all dependencies we need to implement a swagger in our RESTful API. So first of all, what is swagger? Swagger is a way to describe your REST API structure, right? Let's suppose uh, we have a developer, tester, and product manager, and there are many more higher level uh, management. Once the developer created a RESTful API, so there are possibility of there are many methods like get, post, put, uh, delete. But uh, the higher management, let's suppose our tester, um, uh, product manager, they don't know about the structure of the API, right? So while sharing to them, we need to create some document, MS Word document. So it will take more time. So Swagger comes in the picture. Here Swagger will provide the basic information. We can also say that it's a sharing of documentation in the way of GUI part. Once we created a swagger once we implemented a swagger in our RESTful API then we can directly provide that swagger link to our product manager or manager or lead or tester for testing so they can they will hit the URL and they will know okay these are the methods these are the payload and what we have to perform whatever developer have did all we can see in a single page right so let's come and implement a uh, swagger in our restful api so this is my project spring red swagger and here uh, i use the spring boot restful api and mongodb uh, so previously i had explained about how to integrate mongodb with the restful api so if you want to learn about uh, MongoDB and uh, RESTful API from the scratch, you can see my previous video. The link I will provide in the description part at the end of this video. Right? What all things we need? Let's come to the point. Okay. What is Swagger? Just now I explained what is Swagger. Now we need a Swagger dependency, right? So for Swagger dependency, come to the form.xml file. Is my form.xml file and we need a swagger dependency here. So I already have a swagger dependency. Just copy and paste. One we need a spring fox swagger 2. A second is the tree wise. Just copy and paste here. This is an now we need to create a config class where we will provide the swagger specific configuration right so let's create a uh, config class okay here i already have a config class let me first create this and let me create one swagger config class here This is my Swagger config class. Now we need to provide annotation at the rate configuration. Now we need to provide one more annotation that is at the rate Swagger. Not Swagger definition. Enable swagger. Yeah, this one. Correct. Now let's create one method. Public pocket. Oh, so my method name is API. My API. Yeah. 
the docket is an inbuilt class which will provided by spring cost fox documentation dot string dot web plugin now return the new docket Here we need to provide documentation. Documentation type dot slider two dot group name. We need to provide the group name here. Group name is nothing that is our project name. This one, right? Let's me let me create one content here. That is private static final. Let's suppose search. And we need to provide the its name. Bring the rest swagger. Copy this number. Right. And provide this search attribute. dot api info we need and here go next line here we need to create one method right api Let me create this method here. Private API info and API This is also a class which will provided by spring fox dot documentation dot service right. now we need to return here return to document we need a documentation builder right Not documentation builder, it is a mobile builder dot title and it is search this one dot build right. This is complete. Now we need to call this method here. Okay. 
ओके We want to provide the word tag name. Tag name is search. And second, whatever tag name we need to provide here. Whatever you want to provide any tag name, you can provide. This. Okay, I'm providing. Bring this like a EPA, right? Put that package. No argument to match tag. Okay. Tag not tags. Let me put the package. Right? That's it. So what we did? We we have uh, provided a dependency. This is the two dependency we need to provide while implementing a swagger for our uh, RESTful API. And and we created one swagger config class. There we took search as a constant and we used these two methods. What these methods uh, will do? It will take a group name as search. It will provide the Spring Ridge uh, swagger in our uh, Swagger UI. Once uh, I will run this project, you can you will be able to see the same name at the front of the Swagger UI, right? And here I am providing some tags. If you want, you can provide any tag here, like uh, this is developed by uh, developed for REST API, or you can provide any tag. Whatever comes in your mind, you can provide here. It, it depends on you what tags you need to provide. So let's run this application. Okay, it got started right now. Let's open a swagger page. To open a swagger page, what we need to provide? We have to provide HTTP colon localhost colon. The port number 
what is the port number? It's eight zero eight zero, right? Slash swagger hyphen ui dot html. This things we need to provide swagger hyphen ui dot html. This that you have to provide to open a swagger depart. Let me hit enter here. Yeah, we got this page right. Slider ui.html. Now, here you have to click show or hide. See here, we are getting here uh, all the endpoints, right? Whatever we have in the controller this is my user controller class. If you come to the controller class, here is my user controller class. And here, what all method I have? I have a get mapping for uh, all user, I have a get mapping for user ID, I have a put mapping. I have a post mapping and I have a delete mapping. So if you see in the swagger GUI here, you, you will be able to find all the methods here get, post, delete, put, and get my user ID. So let's uh, hit one uh, URL and check whether we are getting the output or not. Just click here. This is your model schema. It will tell the user ID is a data type of a string. And username, yeah, data type of string, right? Now, here we have to find, like, try it out. So it will provide all the user code in this, in this slider, we part. So hit, hit the URL, try it out. It's running. Yeah, here is my response body, right? I got all the users <coughs> here. Right, so this is the way we can implement Swagger for our RESTful API. So generally, what is Swagger? A Swagger is a specification. It's a it's used to share the document to our higher management. Right, it's all a kind of documentation, so that each and every person who doesn't have knowledge about the coding. They can see this page and they will get to know, okay, this is a page and in this page there are five methods, get, post, delete, put and get. And let's suppose if I will, uh, I want to hit, I want to run any method, so I have to click here and here see user ID. So we need to provide some user ID here and then we need to hit try it out. So based on the user ID, they will get the output, right? Here what we did, this is the get method for all user. No need to provide any any user ID, right? That's why we hit try it out and we got the response. So this is the Swagger implementation inside our RESTful API. So I will provide all the links in the description part. Please go through it. And if you have any doubt, let me know. Please comment. I will provide the valuable answer for it. Thank you.